Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those guys who are new, my name is Piloy and I do lifestyle videos and hair tutorials. Thank you so much for always coming back. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. So today I'm going to be taking you through my look day routine, my look day wash routine. Yeah, I've had this hairstyle for like seven months. It's just temporary looks. That means it's it's only a protective hairstyle. As I said, I've had it for seven months and I'm going to be unlocking them maybe in the next three months. So stay tuned guys so that you can check my length, the length of my hair. I am so excited to unlock them. I'm really looking forward to see the, to check the length of my hair. Before I always wash, I definitely have to remove the previous hairstyle. So I just had it in a band so that will be easier. That will be easier to, to like remove the hairstyle, yeah. Yeah guys, so uh, let's just get into the video. Hey guys, I decided to do a voiceover cause like my camera was getting blurred. At this point I was trying to soak my dreads. But you know, the shower, my showers was disappointing me, the water was cold, I kept checking if I adjusted the temperature, but yeah, I did, I, just showers problems. Eventually, the water became warm and I continued soaking, like I always soak from the roots to the tips. Yeah, to the tips of my locks and this will allow all the products to go in and you know I always love warm water guys. I always use warm water because it has the tendency to open the pores and the hair follicles and definitely the stubborn darts will, yeah, will be driven away. You know. I always use warm water. As you can see, there was a stubborn dread from my previous, like my previous um, style. I was trying to unravel it and eventually it cooperated, guys. So I continued soaking at this point. I was soaking in. Yeah, guys, af after that thorough soak, I go in with my shampoo of my choice. I always go for this Mahian because it's sulfate free and paraben free. Yeah, just make sure I put enough. Do not put a lot. Yeah, guys, we understand how expensive it can be. I also like love this shampoo because it's like not thick. So that means it's not going to clog. Like the products is not going to clog on my dreads. I thoroughly distribute the shampoo as you can see. Yeah guys, I was making sure that it's all distributed all over. At least every single dread will get it. After making sure that the shampoo is all over, I kept scratching to remove like all the darts. I concentrated on my edges. Uh, yeah, I was making sure that um, I'm being careful with my edges, so that's why I was using my hands. And yeah, I really avoided using the like my nails, so you know, nails can break my edges. Yeah, the main aim is growth, so we do not want to to like break the hairs. Yeah. So I was also making sure that I do not forget my roots, like the roots of my dreads. So I kept like washing. Yeah, guys, I was, and also at the back, as you can see, yeah, that massages everything, guys. Yeah, just make sure you massage it your head, right? Uh -huh. At this point, oh my eyes were red. I guess the products, like the detergents, entered my eyes, guys. But you know, I had to rinse out. I made sure that I rinsed, like almost, yeah, I don't know. But at this point, I was just done, but I was enjoying the water. <laughs> that was the temperatures I needed. Yeah, guys, I definitely rinse the products out. After the first rinse out, I just did the shampooing for the second time. I put on an enough amount of Mahian shampoo and applied on 
all over my head I as you can see I was being careful I did concentrated on my edges I using my hands guys so at this second shampooing I also concentrated on my roots more like the first shampooing and I repeated the first procedure just to make sure I thoroughly clean I was washing as you can see products were being like absorbed more than the first procedure so that can give you room to like wash thoroughly yeah guys I was being careful it's always good to be careful with your edges be careful your hair is your crown guys yeah our main aim as well is just growth so we do not want to like use our our thing our nails yeah guys at this point I was just rinsing out I made sure that every product every there is no product build up so I used warm water and just rinse out I made sure that I use a lot of water um, like since the since this was the the final procedure i used a lot of warm water guys i love warm water because it has the tendency to remove like the product build up yeah guys i was just feeling the warm water uh, and i just was enjoying myself at this point yeah i was dancing i don't know what song i was dancing to but i was just happy that the procedure was you are going through my i was feeling my dreads like i was on the final journey of washing guys yeah i was just trying to to make sure that i wash every part as you can see there is vapor so the water was really warm after that thorough wash i just had to improvise a dryer yeah guys i just went in and wrap my towel so that i can dry my dreads you know yes guys yeah i was feeling that rough. I just came from the sun you know i had to dry my dreads for like 20 minutes yo i was soaking i was soaking guys that's why i changed but you know so after i have dried my locks i have to like spray have my spray bottle here and this is just a mixture of leave-in conditioner water and my essential oils you can just use your oils of your choice it's probably dry so i have to re-moisture it by just spraying yeah i spray all over Yes, guys, yo, I feel so nice. This is what I was like needing. I just needed to wash my hair. Like, who else feels so nice after a wash? I wash, guys. When I don't go to the salon, I usually like do not have to like have the fancy fancy things to dry my hair. I just go to the sun. Yeah, you can simply improvise by using a towel and it's going to get dry. So after I'm done spraying, I just go in with my oil and I I oil my scalp so that I can retain, you know, that moisture. So I just love to go with my olive oil. You don't have to use the olive oil, but everyone has their own preference. So I prefer the olive oil. You just use the, the one that you're comfortable in. Okay, so I just scalp. I mean, I just oil my scalp. Make sure you you reach every part especially the scalp oil the roots so that they look shiny i just said it's a wash and go so i have to look shiny on this day the next thing i have to do is like use my gel i don't know for some reason i just live i just love this gel for kids it's called kids hair gel it's pretty expensive guys i don't know maybe it's because of it's because it's because it is, belongs to the kids, but I don't know. I just love to use this one. I feel like it's not going to strain my scalp. It's not going to strain my, like, hairline. So that's why I prefer this. 
you don't have to use a lot of it. You understand how expensive these things can be, guys? They can be so expensive. So just use a little, which is enough. And I go in with a brush. Just make sure you, it's, you don't have to put all the whole of your, of your hair. Just put your hairline at the back of your hairline and at the front so that you can make sure your dreads are looking nice and fresh. Yeah, guys. Yeah, you, I just said make sure you put enough. Yes, guys, and I'm done. I just style it of my choice. I can just go this way or, or I just return it into a bun. I prefer, no, I was in a bun before, so I'll just go this way. That was my wash lock routine. Thank you so much for tuning in. And please, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and like. Bye guys, until next time.